Now, when we think about hackers, they're really not thinking about the number one threat, which is actually insiders. The insiders. The insiders. Because the biggest uh, cybersecurity threat for your small business right now are the people. Just from January to May of 2017, there were 78 million attacks just in Virginia. When you get a phishing email on your mobile device, it looks way different than it does from your desktop or your computer. So I'm gonna give you an example of my personal experience July of last year. I get this email from my boss on my phone, and if you notice, the time that the email comes in is 11.56. So that looks legit, right? Nothing there that I'm seeing that gives me an indication that this is not a legit email. So I say, sure, I can run a quick test for you. I'm out on the road anyway. And he says, okay, I need you to get me some gift cards. We have a few clients we're gonna send a gift. Let me know uh, if it's possible, and I'll tell you which product I want, right? I need IT gift cards, 100 face value, 10 each. Hundred dollars, thousand dollars total. Scratch the back out and email me the codes with a picture. But you see how easy it is just to get sucked into a conversation with somebody who's fishing for information or trying to get you to give them some information. Best practice. This is something that we're very passionate about with our clients at eComputers. computers. So we see what happens when people aren't actively moving towards best practice in a structured fashion. Uh, we see people that are working with the status quo, and the status quo isn't good enough. And ultimately, the hackers are constantly testing that status quo, and if you're not at best practice, they walk away with your money. They lose $41,000, and this is a small business, and they've got about 30 employees. That really hurts. And, and now they're looking for a vendor that's actually actively working to implement best practices on a continuous basis.